What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today, we are going to do a daily. I've been doing them every day. Hopefully, today's the day we get the achievement. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. We're just Isaac. <laughs> I, I'm so salty about this daily achievement, man. I'm so salty. <clears throat> it's okay. You know what? It's okay. We're okay. There's a tin and rock here. Curse of the darkness. We'll see what this daily has to offer. It's only to mom's foot, man. It's only to mom's foot. So for those of you who are in the dark a little bit and don't know exactly what I'm going for here or what the deal is with the daily. Um, so there's a daily achievement, 31 dailies in a row. And I have done way more than 31 dailies in a row. And for some reason, it just hasn't popped for me for whatever reason, whether it was my game crash during one or I had a mod activated and I didn't mean to, but I don't know why they would let me start the daily in the first place because you're not allowed to do dailies with mods on. I don't know. There's a lot of confusion surrounding this for me. Uh, the problem is this is my last achievement until I get 1,001%. And I want to get 1,001% on YouTube for you guys because you guys have been along the journey with me uh, doing unlockables and stuff. And I don't really know what else to do other than do, you know, the dailies on YouTube now. But I could always just start up the video because the achievement uh, pops at the beginning of the daily. Uh, Cause you don't have to like beat 31 dailies in a row. You just have to play 31 dailies in a row. Um, so yeah, it pops right off the bat. Uh, that is uh, not amazing. It kills that heal. Like it's, I don't even know if it's worth the bomb to be completely honest with you. Considering we have a tin and rock outside that, that item room. I really don't know if it's worth the bomb. I don't think it is to be completely real. That's okay though. It's also maybe not even worth getting hurt for. I'd rather go in the curse room and get hurt there than get hurt for uh, kills that heal. In before I need red hearts and uh, I'm killing enemies and not getting red hearts to regen because I don't have kills that heal. But uh, that's probably gonna happen. I would not doubt it. We are only going to mom's foot. So when I see a daily like that, I always think that, okay, this is a daily where they're not gonna give you a lot of help. Uh, and basically you got to fend for yourself here because items aren't going to be coming uh, left and right. You kind of just get what you're handed in this daily and hopefully you can beat mom's foot. I, they don't usually make overpowered runs only to mom's foot. Uh, that's the logic in my brain. I don't know if that's actually the logic of the dailies. But that's what I've learned after doing, uh, you know, so many dailies in a row. Um... But yeah, I've heard other people have this glitch, you know, where they've done 31 dailies in a row and it just hasn't counted. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We will do them. Like I said, I could I could just fire up the daily and then uh, if the achievement doesn't pop, we can do like a normal run, an Eden run. We could do, you know, anything else for the daily episode other than the daily run. Um, we don't have a bomb. The shop, we don't have a key. We're a little bit of a standstill here. I will take the HP up because it's an HP up. Uh, I left that half a red heart on the ground, not on purpose, just because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was, I was in a rush to get down to the next floor for some reason. But we did get an HP up. I guess it was a better uh, call to re-roll the HP than it was a better call to uh, re-roll the item room considering it just went into kills that heal, which is not amazing. Not my favorite item by any stretch. I didn't even have a bomb to access it. We have two now because of that one room, but hopefully we get a key here so we can access the item room as soon as possible and kind of, you know, weigh our D6 chances because now that we don't see it, we're wasting, you know, rolls or reroll opportunities each room by getting charges each room and not being able to exhaust the d6 the smart thing anyway is to you know hold on to it for the deal with the devil uh but this going to mom's foot this daily i'm calling it right now this deal with the devil is going to be three red chests i'm calling it so this reroll won't even really matter i don't think uh by the time we get to the deal with the devil but we'll see maybe they'll prove me wrong you never know you never know we will save it though i mean Kind of half because we don't really have an option. We don't even know what's in the item room. Um, but we'll, we have the boss fight right here, which is nice. 
probably wouldn't have been able to get another reroll if we did, were to uh, reroll the item room, so maybe it's good. Maybe it's good that we just had the... Uh, we were locked out. We were locked out to, to ruin the opportunity of the D6. Maybe that's how we can just look at it. All right, getting Little Horn down here. Basically half health, which is, is nice. Little Horn's little tooth, though. What is, not many cuter things than that, for real. Freaking Little Horn, little tooth. Oh, oh, oh. That almost got me, honestly. I got cornered a little bit there. Okay, not blowing himself up. He's doing a good job of that. That's not like him. But honestly, I would take like a toothpicks. I would take like a uh, clothes hanger. Why, you know, any of those. Torn photo, Mr. Dolly, I will take 100%. Uh, range and tears up with some health on top of it. And then we get Guppy's paw, which I'm going to take, use use again and then we're gonna put down and then we're gonna re-roll hey you son of a bitch you sneaky bastard uh that's a that's a shame i guess they really really wanted you to use every little bit of that guppy's paw which uh you know, I, I, I usually would but i kind of wanted the one heart to um the one heart to you know, get another deal with the devil and not have to pay three soul hearts. You know, looking back on it, the fact that that was empty vessel and it was going to give us health anyway, uh, I should have just exhausted the guppy's paw, but hindsight 2020. Unfortunately, we do not have flight and we do not have the empty vessel effect, but we did get the finger, which isn't like an amazing item, but a little bit of damage on top of where you're aiming. Uh, I'm totally cool with, dude. I, I like the finger. I think it's a good item. Let's go down here. Let's access the shop because we have a reroll. We also have a uh, 10 cents. We don't have a Nikolai guy here, but he could still drop money. And then he also found us the secret room, which is nice. Hopefully some more money from this guy. Nope, just some spiders. Just some spiders. That's okay. Shoot the poop, shoot the fire. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I really, really, really want that. <laughs> The potato peeler, like, really badly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it, unfortunately. Super Seeker Room? I mean, it had a chance. It was a kind of a snowball's chance in hell that it would have been there, but it was possible. Again, very low chance for it to be here. Not here. Had some jugs. Might have been able to blow those up instead. We're going to miss out on uh, Potato Peeler, which would have been amazing because we could have got rid of the heart for Empty Vessel and uh, got a cube of meat. But yeah, we're going to miss out on it. That's just how the cookie crumbles, man. That's just how the cookie crumbles. We have no more bombs to really look for a super secret room. Uh, and that's that. Hopefully we run into another deal with the devil where we can give this red heart away. I believe that we will. So I'm not too worried about it. Flight just got to, you know, hold off a little bit. Mr. Dolly was a nice pickup. You know, Guppy's paw touched a Guppy item. Got a ton of health. Our survivability is not really in question at all anymore. Um, we're going to be just fine. Have a reroll ready to go. Would love to find the item room as soon as possible. That's usually what you want to optimize the rerolls. Hosts are going to go down here, and uh, we went to the wrong side of town, it looks like. <laughs> the prepped of uh, item rooms. I love the animation of the finger when it swirls around. It's so fluent, man. It's so nice. Let's see if the finger can just take this down here. Slowly but surely. Wow, it actually happened. I almost got hit there because of it. It was more of a science thing. I wanted to see how long it would take to get rid of it. Uh, if I had a bomb here, I would use it, no question about it, but I don't. So we're just going to hack away at these mushrooms. I know they're more vulnerable when they show their face. I figured I was sitting there peppering that guy for long enough that it didn't really mean much to switch. We could hit on the 30% chance to get a deal with the devil. We, we could, and I believe. I believe in it. We could also search for the shop and, like, you know, try to blow up some uh, keepers, maybe even a beggar, to optimize our opportunities. But I believe in the 33%. I believe in it. Plus, I kind of want a chance at maybe another reroll before the other item room, if possible. Not always possible, but it could be. Ding, ding, ding. 
Look at all those red hearts, man. Okay, one eye is out. Nothing to be uh, too afraid of. Let's keep our distance. We got decent range courtesy of Mr. Dolly. We also have, you know, some damage dealing ability from any range courtesy of Finger, which is always nice. Just hit my foot there. Bit of a shame. Shouldn't have taken damage on this fight. Even though Peep isn't the easiest boss, still, you gotta hold yourself to a little bit of higher standards. Fake it till you make it, you know? You have the confidence to beat Peep without taking a hit, you're probably gonna do it. We didn't hit on the deal with the devil and Blood Clot is like good enough to take. It's not amazing, but like I said, good enough to take. We probably should check out that uh, curse room considering, oh my Lord. That was a lot of, that was a lot of bombs there. Okay, well, a lot of them blew up. I don't know if all of them did, uh, courtesy of the black poops. We're gonna be able to pepper them here with the newly acquired blood clot and uh, the finger. We also found the shop and the item room, which we have a key for both if we so desire. Uh, Ghost pepper is just good enough to take straight up. And then we get... There's options, which is a little late, but you know, better late than never, I guess. We're still gonna run into more bosses, so it's still valuable. Does damage clot raise your tier height? Because it feels like my tier height has been raised. It feels like my tears are coming out of my forehead more so than my eyes. <clears throat> Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Maybe I got a one makes you smaller pill. I don't think so, though. Uh, let's go up to the curse room. We do have a reroll, so. Okay, I was hoping for the best there. A uh, sort of pedestal would have been amazing. Like a guppy's head pedestal? That, that could have gotten us guppy with a reroll. Uh, we will do this. And we got burned. Damn red chest burned us. It's okay. That fire was amazing. 11 minutes. Um, we do want to make boss rush. You can fight boss rush when it goes to the foot, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I know there's like a weird quirk in dailies. That's what it is. It's when you go to the womb, when you fight mom's heart, when it ends at mom's heart, you can't fight hush. I think that's the, I think that's what uh, the quirk is there. We're gonna full explore though. One, you get more points for it. Two, uh, we wanna optimize our opportunities. That really wasn't the secret room. Rip. I mean, super secret room, probably not over here. It's usually closer to the boss, but you never know. So the secret room wasn't there. I'm assuming it's here to the left. Everything I own in the box to the left. Okay, not the best secret room, but honestly, we probably should. Ooh, that fire killed him. We probably should have came there first uh, and blown that guy up and, you know, hoped to raise our deal with the devil opportunities, but. It is what it is. We do have golden bombs, so it'd be silly not to try to get something out of these. Puberty pill's not bad anymore. Well, it's never bad. It's always a neutral pill, but you know, the adult transformation I think is an HP up. Which, you know, could be bad, I guess, if we activate Empty Vessel. Uh, we'll just blow this up as well and take the money and be on our way. Solid floor, you know, could have been better. Really still a little bit salty about one, not playing Guppy's Paw until it exhausted my red hearts. And two, just missing out on Potato Peeler was a bit of a shame. But what are you gonna do about it? You know, you're gonna cry about it? Maybe. <clears throat> I might, I don't know. Try to bait them all up top and then, then we can go under them. A little bit of a dicey situation in a small room with one of those being a champion, but we got out of it. I think the mushroom is the biggest threat to us. He's dead. Now it becomes these champions. We do have the blister trinket, which has given us some knockback, which against these enemies is actually really helpful. And there's another charge, which is also really helpful. Try to get the finger down there just so we can constantly, oh, the fire was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. Thank you, chili pepper. Red hot chili pepper. Um, okay, well, that's a bit of an interesting room. We don't have a bomb to access the reroll machine, uh, which I definitely wanna do. I don't really wanna, I'm not interested in using a D6 on a 
item pedestal with a reroll machine right there. I'm holding out for a bomb. Hopefully we get a bomb. This effing room layout though. I'm sleep, dog. We only took one hit, which is actually not terrible. These those rooms could be uh really rough. Bomb. Okay, we got a bomb. So we could start to reroll in here. Uh, we do have a 67% chance at a deal with the devil, but no harm, no foul about going back here. Popping that down. Uh, the relic is really good, but just like not that interesting. <laughs> it probably guarantee my win, but this is only to mom's foot. Uh, bookworm transformation will pick it up. Don't know if how far off that is, but pick it up. Reroll it. Camo undies. Again, not that amazing. Let's uh, let's save our reroll to see if we want to use it against the boss or the deal with the devil. And then we'll go from there to deal with the camo undies. We exhausted our bank. We have zero cents, but we still have a reroll on the D6. And we also have a battery back there in case we... Uh, in case we want to reroll the item room. If we so happen to use the reroll here. We also have the magician card, which I'm just holding on to at this point. Um, this is the champion of Gertie that doesn't shoot. He just spawns, which is, I think, easier in my opinion. All right. Well, we got a speed up and a range up. Just like not that amazing. So we're going to reroll it. And then we got a shot speed up, which we could use some shot speed not great it's really not if i'm being real it's just not great uh we'll hold off on everything right now until we kind of clear out the rest of this floor just in case there's not like a more appetizing pedestal or something that you know calls our name i mean the only good thing i mean the only thing that can happen here is us recharging our d6 which is uh, obviously a good thing so might as well explore before we make any decisions, right? None of them are going to, you know, impact us so much on this floor. That fire, though. That fire, though. Okay, there's one fly left. Uh, that is going to be a two-room charge, and this is also going to be a two-room charge. So we're probably going to get a natural recharge, which we can use, you know, either on the boss or the item room. Whatever we so desire, but it's really nice that I did explore before making a brash decision on what to pick up. I mean, this this room's just gonna take some time because of the nice. Actually, conquer that faster than we than I thought initially. Oh god. Okay. So the item room, or sorry, the uh, shop not super valuable right now at one cent. Uh, do I even want to waste a key on it? I guess we'll just see what's in here. There's a refresh, which is nice, but and the map is also nice, but like going to mom's foot, which by the way, rip boss rush. Um, mapping's not super important because you're not going that many floors, but I guess what we're going to do here is try to use our two cents to reroll the item room. And then if nothing happens, we can reroll it once. I don't love Robo Baby, but I want to take this reroll just for uh, just for the boss room. It's it's just a it's a higher value play because we have two pedestals. Um, so let's see. And uh, yeah, wow, it couldn't have been gone worse, really. It couldn't have gone worse. I'm still holding out hope to give away this red heart. So let's not make it more difficult on ourselves by taking another heart. We're so close to getting flight, and we're guaranteed a deal here. Uh, that, yeah, like I said, I don't want to make it harder on ourselves to get to Empty Vessel. Hopefully, they give us the opportunity. Uh, just not a great daily so far, but, I mean, we're still alive, so that, that counts for something. Um, again, we're gonna miss Boss Rush. I don't think there's any doubt about it, unless we run into an Emperor card and run into the boss, like, relatively soon. But, I can't really see it happening. It's alright, we're not going for insane scores here. We're honestly just out here to play the daily. Uh, telepills. Which honestly, you know, we don't actually have to play the daily for the daily achievement. We just got to participate in the daily, but... It's all hearsay, really. Might as well play it if we're out here. Where's the hand? Where is it? Hate this wave. Hate this wave. Ugh, damage is real rough. Real rough. 
Okay, the fire's gonna get him, and he's gonna walk right into the fire. That's definitely gonna get him. The finger also goes through the mask, which is really nice. Again, running right into the fire. A bit weird, a bit creepy, but I mean, it gets the job done. If you if you really feel the need to just run through the fire, go ahead, my friend. Little Zombro, I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not gonna stop you. He jumped like into the wall and actually blocked all his tears. That was kind of interesting. Never seen that. We could just let the finger do the work here. These guys are a little bit tanky, though. Okay, one down. We're, yeah, like a minute out of boss rush. I'm assuming a lot of people uh, struggle to get to boss rush on this daily. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, if you set out to, like, get to boss rush, I'm assuming you could... But then you're not like really diving deep into any rerolls or any reroll plays, which, you know, is not for everybody. And honestly, if you didn't dive deep, you probably have a better run than me right now. But that's that's the cost of uh, the D6, in my opinion. It's like you get too aggressive or too greedy, I should say, not even aggressive. And then you end up uh, having to take mom's underwear instead of like a decent shot speed up with a tarot card. That's just that's the double edged uh, sword there of the D6. It's just life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I gained position. I, I was shooting the right way. I was doing the right things. It's not right enough, I guess. Not right enough. Let's get this guy down. Before he chases us down. And then finally found a place to use a reroll if we so desire. And it's undefined, which I'll just reroll. And let's live life on the edge. Why don't we? You know, let's go down swinging. I'm not going to use it here because this, these jumpers, honestly, can hit me out of nowhere pretty, pretty easily. Okay. Get the little Zombro. But yeah, we're going to probably just glass cannon our way through the rest of this, uh, <laughs> through the rest of this daily. It's, uh, you know, risky, but if we don't win the daily, it is what it is. What does it even matter, really? Uh, okay. Nothing doing there. We lost all our health courtesy of Empty Vessel. And honestly, Robo Baby could have screwed us there. If he blew up a bomb, that would have caused the chain reaction to, to end up hurting us. I'm just trying to be careful. Don't want to die to a red fire, which is completely in the cards. Dying to a red fire, which probably wouldn't be the best thing. Okay, well, I mean, you know, we're not going to get, uh, unless it's a, unless it's a deal with the devil that gives us health, we literally can't even take it. So, uh, a bit of a, you know, short-sighted play by, you know, doing Empty Vessel, but you only live once. That is the motto. That's what I've been told. Honestly, for what it is, Empty Vessel doesn't even do that much damage. Or, sorry, Empty Vessel, hello. Um, glass Cannon, whatever it's called. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying, don't you? Honestly, Empty Vessel probably doesn't do, do that much damage because you're so focused on using it, right? It's one of those things. It's like you're trying to line up the Empty Vessel shot. Stop saying Empty Vessel. Um, oh, that, that was a pin one. You're trying to line up the empty, the glass cannon shot that you literally don't even shoot your normal tears, which DPS wise would probably kill him faster. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> A host just popped out of there. Um, do you take this and then give it away? Yeah, this is actually okay, I think. I think this is okay. We take this. This gives us health. We take this. We're going to go down to a half black heart, but we could fly now at least. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a bit dicey here. We're moving on from the D6 uh, to, to play with the empty. Uh, not the empty. Not the empty. The glass cannon. It's a little bit of invulnerability from the Zombros. Proving to be difficult to handle well, yet again. Okay, let's get this uh, sack here. 
check out the double locked room because why not? We can fly to get these bombs, which is nice. Bow, 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 bow. Just gotta live life on the edge a little bit here because this daily was just like meh. And the empty vessel, oh my god, Jay. Say it again, dude. At least I'm correcting myself. I feel like that could be one of those like things that I just keep saying throughout the whole episode and never correct myself. And then everybody's in the comments like, I'm triggered, keep saying empty vessel. Glass cannon. Glass cannon at least spiced up the daily a little bit. Made it more dangerous, more fun. We're dead. We're dead. I die on this room all the time. Yep, there we go. Every time. All right. Well, we couldn't even complete a daily that goes to the foot. That's where we're at right now. Um, I'm playing these to participate. But as you can see, man, I've been... A lot of these I turn on and just die instantly. But back here is when I was still trying to roll with them. Um, I've been doing them over 30 days. So, I mean, time will tell, I guess, if we ever get the unlock. And hopefully you guys will be here to witness me getting the unlock. That's why we're doing the dailies. But hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Make sure you check out these two videos listed down below if you haven't seen them already. Subscribe for more Daily Isaac content. And until next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.